welcome back to Simple Living with Michelle Davenport. I am so excited about this recipe that you are about to watch. It is the veggie pot pie. I am doing a review on this book, Wheat Night, One Pot Vegan Cooking by Nicole Malik. And uh, I'll be doing it all month. I'm picking several recipes out of her cookbook and I am just cooking one a week, maybe two. And this veggie pot pie by far is so, it is like, amazing. I, I've been vegan for two years. You won't miss the chicken, the cream, nothing. The, the chicken pot pie has nothing on this pot pie. It is our now go-to pot pie. Um, I've only tried the other one other recipe, which is the Portobello pot roast. I will leave a little link to it up here for you to check that video out. It was delicious as well. I think I might try the dessert next time, but we'll see. Uh, anyway, just go enjoy the video. I'm telling you what, y'all, you will not be disappointed, vegan or non-vegan, it doesn't matter. You will not be disappointed with this recipe. It is a home run. Oh, me and my husband love it. All right, now go over there and watch the video. Bye-bye. Okay. We are making family style veggie pot pie. And it's going to be delicious. So I started out with two tablespoons of olive oil. And I have one onion chopped. And I'm fixing to add one jalapeno chopped. I'm just going to stir this around and let this cook two or three minutes. Then you want to add your three carrots peeled and chopped. Three to five carrots. These were pretty big, so I just used three. And you want to cook this for about five minutes until the carrots are soft. Okay, now you want to add your carton of mushrooms. white button sliced mushrooms and you want to cook this for about three minutes you want to add a little pepper to your liking maybe a fourth of a teaspoon you want to add a little salt again about a fourth of a teaspoon Now is the perfect time to add the rest of your kidney, which would be about two tablespoons of fresh thyme and rosemary and some garlic. I'll have the exact recipe in the description box below. You want to go ahead and add your chili powder and your smoked paprika. And then give this all a stir. Oh my gosh, y'all. It smells just like an old-fashioned chicken pot pie, but better. It smells so good in here. Right. And go ahead and add some a little bit more of the olive oil and some and some flour. About three tablespoons. Let's 
stir that all around. Cook that for about a minute. Now it's time to add two cans of cannellini beans to your pot, one cup of corn, and one cup of peas. Give that a stir. Five cups of vegetable broth. Just going to give it a stir. We're going to bring this mixture to a bowl and then we're going to reduce the heat. We're going to bring this to a bowl and then we're going to reduce the heat for 15 minutes. Okay, after you bring that mixture to a bowl and then simmer it, you bowl it and then you simmer it for like 15 minutes, then you're going to turn off the heat and you're going to pour in your half a cup of unsweetened almond milk and you're just going to get that a stir get that all incorporated in and then you're going to let this cool for just for a few before you put the pie crust on just let your your pan just cool just a minute and then you're going to put your pie crust on and cut some slits in it and you're going to bake it at 350 for 20 to 25 minutes until it's golden brown everything in here is going to already be cooked so that's all you do and I will show you the crust on it when the pan cools a little bit but you put your pie crust on there Mine barely fits, and you cut some slits in there, and some of that gravy came through when I did that. That's okay. It's going to taste awesome. All right, you pop it into the oven. Cook it 20, 25 minutes on temperature 350. Now, my husband's going to try the veggie pot pie. He is my taste tester, so here we go. Good. <laughs> it's good. As usual. All right, we've got the approval. You heard it from the taste tester. Mm -hmm. Mm -mm. Hey, y'all, 
thank you for stopping by Simple Living. Man, was that a good recipe. Veggie pot pie. Woo, it was delicious. Um, it will comfortably feed a family of four. Uh, it's just the two of us here, so we ate it for dinner, and then we also had it for lunch the next day. So it does serve four very comfortably. You could also serve it with a side salad. Um, it is so good. I cannot wait for you to try this recipe. Just fantastic. All right, y'all. Thank you again, and y'all just have a great week, and I'll see you when I see you.